only thing one can hear is the sound of wind. Empty streets and locked up homes on a Friday morning. But less than 24 hours ago, it was far from peaceful in the Kyrgyz village of Kizbel. Cross-border gunfire between Kyrgyzstan and its neighbour Tajikistan on Thursday forced more than 10,000 people to evacuate their homes. I have five children. I already moved them to Batken city. Then I came back to help our men defend our village. A border and water dispute led to the heaviest fighting seen in years between the two countries just hours after a ceasefire agreement. Each side has blamed the other for firing first. After Tajikistan installed surveillance cameras at a water reserve that both claim as their own. The governor of this region stated that the cameras from the water distribution centre should be removed by the Tajik side, but the mayor of Isfana city hasn't listened and that's what's caused the conflict. But Tajikistan's security committee has accused Kyrgyz soldiers of opening fire first on its troops at the water distribution point on the Isfara River. Kyrgyzstan says at least 30 people were killed and more than 150 others injured. Tajik casualty numbers are still unclear. Uh, some have gunshot wounds. 11 people are in intensive care, but their condition is stable. The shaky ceasefire was resumed on Friday after the Kyrgyz and Tajik presidents spoke on the phone. They've agreed to meet next month in an attempt to resolve their long-running border dispute. Sara Khairat, Al Jazeera.